So let's look at uh, let's look at the way that our information model of songs and artists and recording might actually make it into a database. Now I've chosen a very very simple database representation of this stuff to make it easy for you to understand. But what you should really understand is that usually there's lots and lots and lots of tables associated in very you know, interesting and hard to understand ways. So I've given you a very simple database diagram, a very simple database schema, but understand that in real life, the database schema versus the information model, the database schema is very complex and uses many tables to represent um, what we would call a single information type. Here I have one table per information type. That's the, the easiest or simplest way that you might do it in a database. But in real databases, there's much more going on than simply um, one table per, per um, information type. However, in our model, I'm keeping it simple, and we have a song table, we have an artist table, and we have a recording table, which have all the same attributes that I showed in the data model. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to understand. That's a pretty direct translation from the information model into the database.